Job playing right here on Rock Tour 234. You know, we are the only rock show in East and Central Africa that plays rock music on TV. Isn't that something? Well, my name is Philin Jean. Hang out with Max Jones right here. And Made in Niger is actually a song of our guests. Our latest album is called Room 309. She'll be telling us all about it. And if you didn't know, she is not only amazing, but she is also the queen of soft rock in Africa. She is a singer, songwriter, recording and performing artist all the way from Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Zainab Sule. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> how you doing? How you feeling? Man, hi. How you doing? It's been a whole year. One full year. It's been a whole year, but we're so glad to have you again. I mean, Zainab always comes to Kenya during my birthday. That is in November. <laughs> Oh, Every well, birthday, oh. she has never missed my birthday ever <laughs> since we knew each other. Isn't that something? Actually, she flies across how many countries what? just to get to Kenya for a birthday? <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. It's just it's just coincidental. But yes, but you always come during my birthday. Always, though, and I never December, get like, cake. Yeah. Never, yeah. No, mm. we ate cake last year. This yeah. year we haven't ate. We haven't eaten cake, cake yes. yet, but last year we ate cake on a yacht. On a yacht, actually. Yeah, last yeah. year we ate cake on a yacht. This year was too complicated. Um, it was Everyone raining the whole day. I had a party, but you couldn't make it. I couldn't make it. Unfortunately, so, but yeah, next year we'll see you again. Next year we'll do something. Maybe we'll go to Dubai next year. We're yeah. going, wow, we're going, Max? She said Max, we're, we're, going we're going somewhere? Yeah, yeah. For my well, birthday next year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, definitely cool. do. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And welcome to the show once Thank you. again. Thank you for please tell me. us everything. How have you been since we saw you? That is one year ago. That is one year ago. Okay, mm. one year ago, surprisingly, we were talking about the album, mm. and uh, surprisingly, this year we are. Uh, uh, we have the album, so yes, the, what we did the entire one year mm. was work on the album. So we came up with songs like this one. And then the cold nights in there will be one and then just different things just to try and do a different stuff. I know there's so many tracks on that album that I love. Mm -hmm. But of course my favorite has to be called Nights in Nairobi because she keeps complaining that Nairobi is cold. I'm wearing like, a jacket what are you talking on about? set, for goodness sake. <laughs> what else is the proof that Nairobi is cold? Like I'm wearing a complete complete habit. We're probably used to it. Like yeah. I feel like it's too hot. Like mm -hmm. I was even telling her oh, oh, like off air, I'm like, man, like it's too hot. She's like, What are you talking about? Like uh -huh. uh, 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 it's not hot. <laughs> like I don't. You guys are lying. Like anybody wearing t-shirts and jeans and sneakers. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes. But what we've been doing basically is just working on the album, and then um, we've been working all year. And then I was able to get my own studio at home. So I felt okay. Why not come around and just not just Nairobi? We actually have a lot of places I want to do this year and maybe half of next year to promote the album. And, and then move on to other things, yeah. Right, Dream 3 or 9, the last time we were here, you had not actually decided on the name yet. You're like, oh, maybe I'll call it this, maybe I'll call it that. And then we decided on Dream 3 or 9. And I was like, 
What is in this room, room three or nine? Is it like that room you go? You know, it sounds like a horror film, yeah? Mm. Right, Max? Yeah, room two, one, three. Oh. Right? <laughs> wasn't it? No, so like what happens in room three or nine stays in room three or nine? It sounds I, like like I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, we, um, some people in Nigeria actually say it sounds like a hotel room. So, so Yeah, it does actually sound like a so, hotel room. And then, ironically, there is a hotel in china called room 309 no way but honestly like it's a full hotel and it's coincidental you Coincident didn't even know I about never it. known about it in my yeah. life i just saw it the idea is just that i want you to be able to find anything so if you are happy you should be able to listen to 309 and get something that makes you happy so it's almost like come lock yourself in a room with me and let's get things down in a yeah, good way yeah. that's the concept so mm. if you're happy come find songs that'll make you happy if you're sad if you're depressed, we will give you the knife. <coughs> yes, we will not give you the knife. We will just encourage you not to kill yourself. <laughs> but the whole point is this. Room 309 is, is supposed to cut across everyone. I normally don't do like jam-made kind of songs. But because I wanted to also do, like, it still boils down to the same fact that I want to do something for Nigerians as well. Mm. Like, yeah. Something like an anthem. <coughs> so we're like, we're made in Niger. Like, yeah. I'm made in Kenya. Yeah. <coughs> Did I say that? Yeah, yeah. Maybe Kenya. <laughs> yeah. You are literally a Kenyan right now. I'm part you're, Kenyan. Like, you're, you're half Kenyan. Yeah. We need to get you like a, uh, what is it called? Like um, not the, the certificate, not no. the, 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 not the visa. What is it called? The one that uh, shows that you're from a particular country. Uh, passport? No, not a passport. No, you just get a lawyer dude and then. Uh, ah, no. no, we have a parent. No, he, he's. Okay, so, <laughs> I can I, 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 let me not talk about that. I almost said something, <laughs> but we're not going to go there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, um, Room 309, uh, after it came out and you've been promoting it, tell us about uh, how are the sales, how have people received it so far? Uh, online, of course, in streams and both. Are, pe are people buying physical copies? Uh, uh, like we didn't do physical copies for our album because based on the kind of um, era we are now, if I ask you where is your CD, you don't even have one, but you have your phone. Mm -hmm. And then, so we did a lot of download cards so that people could just scan and then go to Spotify, Apple Music. And for the first time, my distributor, um, DistroKid, mm -hmm. now sends to AudioMax. One of the things I've been missing for all my previous work is that I was never on AudioMac. Mm -hmm. So this is the first album that actually made AudioMac, and I was really impressed. So I've met a lot of people I've, um, who've done well, I think combined, Combined, I can't say the numbers on air before someone kills you, me. But combined, I, I'm really encouraged because this has done better than any previous work I've done. Oh, yes, yes. Congratulations. Yeah, so it's done well. We and are so happy for I'm you. happy for myself. I know, right? Yeah, that so shows that we're making progress. Yes, we're that's the whole stuff. idea of keep, to keep doing Consistency. albums. Consistency. Yes, yeah. so the more you do it, and then you find other ways of promoting it, mm. and then learn more stuff because you don't know everything. The more you keep doing something like that, you find out that, okay, you're going to grow. And yeah. then you're going to meet people who would help you and want to grow because of that. So, right. Yeah. And then we did merch, which you have. We, <laughs> so, I'm telling you. Yeah, this, was, I'll wear it next Saturday. I have a Zainab Sule t-shirt. <laughs> it was not even done in Kenya. Yeah. It was done in Nigeria. Yeah. In Ipanda and Dege, bro. It was on the plane. <laughs> Flew it down. paid a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> it did, actually. It did. And, and it got here. It's so special. And It was I, the first time. So, so yeah. yeah. It was. And there, there's no one else who Got. No, nobody. I'm the only one. When I tell you guys, yeah. you don't listen. I'm telling you. She pre-ordered. Like, she pre-ordered <laughs> it. So, so no, no, like for real. Even though you were in Kenya and yeah. you are, you had a concert here. No one literally actually got any merch. No, I I'm didn't bring any merch. I'm yeah. so privileged. I didn't bring huh. any merch. Look at that. Yeah, and speaking of the concert, you played at uh, Rocking Riot, which yeah. happened just two weeks ago. It was amazing, of course. But unfortunately, I got there after your performance. But yeah. tell us everything. Thing. Unfortunately, yeah. I couldn't. Get yeah, the show time. was the show was good. It was hosted by Heaven and the Beast, yeah, who are known for supporting rock bands. So yeah. it was good. It was the first time I had met physically work, um, Murphy's Floor. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and they are really dope. I didn't get to watch LYT perform because they had, one of them had COVID, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, but outside that, it's not my first time performing in Nairobi. But it was a really dope, really dope event. And we were there till like 1 a.m. I know, yes. but previously when you come to Kenya, you, you always have a Zainab yeah, Zainab Zainab Sule Sule Life. concert. Yeah. Zainab Sule Life. <laughs> what happened? Last year we didn't have it because we had a lot. We were going to Mombasa, obviously. No. It was just all about fun. Uh, this year, 
you performed at Rocking Riot, so you're still in Nairobi. Are you going to perform somewhere else, or we wait until next year? The thing, the whole idea for the Zainab Suri Live was actually to come to, we did Tanzania, it was to come to Kenya, do it once, but then mm. I fell in love with you guys, and then I did twice. <laughs> so it's not supposed to be an every year thing. Ah. I'm supposed to go somewhere else and do the Zainab Suri. So it's like a touring concert, kind of. Oh. Yeah, so last year I felt, okay, I'm always coming to do this show, so why don't I just come hang with the guys? That was the whole idea, mm. to kind of build that friendship. So last year and then we went to go do all those cake things. And that was last year. So this year it was more like, so don't, we're not, we wanted to do, we actually considered doing, but it was suggested that, no, just come for the show instead. And right. so we just came for the show. And it was, it was a good decision because I got to meet everybody perform and then outside hosting a show, you got to be one of the bands. It's, it's a different kind of feeling. It's a different, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a different yeah. kind of you feeling. You see how other people perform and you see how other yeah. people you see, like... You see the whole scene, mm. not from an outsider standpoint. You see it from an insider standpoint now. I think that was, that was something I wanted to know. So, yeah. So that was plus. Ah, nice. We like it. Even if you go to Tanzania next year, you can still come. No, I'm not going here, that way. Then go to Tanzania. <laughs> I'm not going that way. <laughs> Maybe Uganda. The, the, the whole thing, East Africa was just three countries. And yeah. Tanzania was not, I didn't host it, but I we were invited. Mm -hmm. So then this one, and then maybe Uganda. So. Ah. Uganda is good. Uganda and the rock scene in Uganda is actually growing. And you have a few friends. There's five. There's, um, mm -hmm. I'm forgetting, what is their name? I have the no idea. <laughs> like, you, I'm lost. You're serious? I have no idea. The guy, uh, how am I even forgetting them? They're super awesome. They, the, the one with the locks, they, they do metal, do metal. Oh, 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 oh. Um, they were here. They were in yeah. Kenyans. They were even in Kenya. Juma. Not Duma. Duma are Kenyans. Uh -huh, so. They're Kenyans doing rock in Uganda, but they, they haven't, they, they were in Uganda, but they haven't been in Uganda for such a long time. They, they are touring. They've been in Europe and all mm. these countries. They're Western countries. They've been on tour for like for a whole long, year. Yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> They've just been touring. Touring like helps it's, you it's, as an artist. You don't stay where yeah. you are. Yeah. If you stay where you are most of the time, you just, you just stagnate and just be there. Yeah. But when you take yourself out, out even on your own phone, to take yourself out, just try. Even if it's as the nearest village, just go. When you yeah. come back home, you, you would have learned something to bring to your craft, and that's going to really help you. Yeah, and speaking of that, how about Niger? How is the rock scene back home? Is it growing? Um, is it like I think it's, it, as of when I came to Nairobi in 2017, mm. we actually even had October 1st. We had a very strong rock festival. Mm. But now, in 2022, I think Alternative has taken over. And it's now something they call Alte or something. It's, it's not, rock is, you can like literally count now how many rockers are left behind. So it's not, it's not as it was in 26, 17, 18. Oh, they are now like, um, it's yeah. like rock for like alternative. They are now, because you have to really have money or just have a good support system for you to push the brand. Yeah. yeah, or you're just going to just stagnate. Which but I've seen you performing in various uh, places, so how does that happen? Because I'm soft work, yeah, yeah, I think. So soft work can pass as alternative, mm. so they can call you. But if I was... Metal. Doing me <laughs> if you are last year's strategy... <laughs> you pay my rent like that. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you literally... But if, if you were last year's strategy mm -hmm. in Nigeria, you would have to find a creative way to promote it. Mm. and make yourself attractive to them and then they will call you mm. if you are but if you're not and then maybe you have feelings money or you have max's money mm. you can just look at that <laughs> god i claim it that money people think i have god please i want it you know <laughs> But anyway, now that you're in Nairobi, are you working on anything with anyone? You know everyone in the scene, basically. So are we maybe yes, going um, to see something? I actually did say that last year. In fact, I'm calling out you Kenyans. I don't know why it's so long to do a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Last year in the album, apart, okay, I did have George Gashiri. Yes, he George Gashiri guitar. made it to Room 309. Yeah, he played the guitar in yeah. Bad Alibi. So there were yeah. some cool guys that were really dope. But then for the other guys, they'll tell you, yes, yes, I sent the song. And then me and you went to one somewhere and then we spoke to someone. Oh, and that someone didn't send the song. That someone didn't send the song. So even if I tell you that I'm in Nairobi and I'm going to do a collaboration, 99% of the time, mm -hmm, like I came to Nairobi with my studio equipment, it's in my apartment, and then I have a pending song with someone 
on the scene. But I can't say on what if they wake up and they don't do it. So that's how it goes. I don't know why I would say Kenyan works is just slow. Like, it's not busy. Yeah. It's more like taking the initiative to like do something and do it well and yeah, do it, yeah. i think it's more like out of sight out of mind if you are here then you can easily push it you can go to the studio together but when it's just them i think that's when i literally like, came with the whole studio but, but that's just <laughs> the idea it's just i think it's it's worldwide mm -hmm. but i also think it depends on if the person wants to work so yeah. like in nigeria i can just reach out to someone in another state mm -hmm. yeah but let's do it they already know that you're the one that would do it mm -hmm. they send in their vocals five weeks your song is up. Yeah, but here it's probably going to the one in Nairobi said, Hey Zena, we don't work in December, maybe January. And then January, hey Zena, can we buzz you in February? I'm like, okay. So But yeah. but let me tell you something. Now that you've mentioned Kenya, I don't even think it's the rock scene alone. Because I have this uh He's a big wig in the hip hop scene, and I have a friend from Sierra Leone who they, they they had to send money for a collab. They're like, oh, for me to give you a verse, you have to send money. So they're like, how much? So they paid like um, 300k, okay. and then the guy got the money, but he hasn't signed the song yet. He's like, oh, so I have a couple of projects. I have to release them first. I'll send you the song once <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, so this year won't be possible. You have to wait until next year. And they already got the money, so. It's not a rock thing. Oh, Don't oh. hold it against that. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> is, I think that, that one. It's a Kenyan thing now mm -hmm. that I'm thinking about. That it. one, the one for the first one I even had, he's really is one of the scene actually. And he was like, yeah, send your, so I sent the voice, not send the contract. Mm -hmm. And then he comes and says, uh, so Zainab, I'm under new management now, so um, I'm not sure when I'll be able to give you the vocals. But he wasn't under new management when we met and discussed about the song. So, so I just think it's just that initial reluctance to just come out and do stuff. But outside that, perfect, 100 over 100. But this is my only complaint. So if I don't do a collab with any Kenyan, you know why. Okay. <laughs> so now we know, now we know, now we know. But we'll keep trying, we'll, we'll keep, keep pushing. We'll, we'll keep, keep talking pushing, to them. We'll keep, keep <laughs> bullying them. we keep and bullying and them, I know. All right, and unfortunately, time, I don't time know where time is to go. Yeah. Like, it's always two hours, but I'm literally 10 minutes into the show and it's, it's almost gone, that yeah. time to go. So as we wind up, like, uh, now what next? Now we have Room 309. It's an album we've both been looking forward to. Now that it's here, what else for Zena? Um, videos, videos, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, we need visuals, especially videos. for Rock Tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah for TV. Videos, yeah, <laughs> so because I actually took a complete break from videos because of how you have to, it's a useless venture as far as I'm concerned because you pay some, as much as, 200k shillings mm. to do one video and after two months it has expired yeah so you do another one so if you unless you have endless sauce so we did up to a point and then we're like okay let's stop for a while so now we're resuming back videos with the new album so it stopped when the last album hypersonic that was when we stopped and just we did single 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 so now we're doing videos and maybe an ep to push it out <laughs> Videos uh, and EP. Really. Huh, nice. I'll hold you on that one. I'm holding I keep reminding you, right? I'm, yeah, I'm holding That's such a nice way to actually do things. But we love that. We love the consistency. And thank you so much for loving Asante. Kenya and Asante. always visiting us all the time thank and you. bringing presents. Last year, she brought me a little kitenge. How do you call what you brought me? The, 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 the thingy? I don't know Swahili. I don't know what she's talking about. Um, like Ankara. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Like, it's Ankara. That's what we call it. Ankara, yeah. Ankara in the Nigerian term is Ankara. Ankara. Yeah, yes. you call it Ankara, yes. I think, something. But yeah, you brought that. Here you have this. Like, you're always bringing gifts. So keep coming to Kenya. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. We love that. We love that. And of course, thank you for stopping by. Thank Alex, you. if you have any shout outs, you have anything you want to tell the guys before we call it. Okay, so um, hi, guys. My name is uh, Niaje. My name is Zainab Suley, and I'm always, always considering myself as part Kenyan. So keep streaming the album on, I think, AudioMark, DistroKid, mm -hmm. Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Alexa, I think. Mm -hmm. And then follow me on Twitter at Zainab Suley, or check out my website on ZainabSuley.com. And keep being safe. Yeah? Ah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for doing that. So, Max, I'm sure you have something by Zena. Oh, yeah, as she goes, yeah. Bad yeah. alibi. Okay. All right. I think, I think, oh, you want to do bad alibi? That's yeah, dope. That's I think dope, we're going to do yeah, that's dope. Yeah. I, that's dope. That's Let's dope. Do that. That's dope. All right, guys, we're still here. We have Rock Post. If you want to be in the know with what's happening around us in the world of rock, keep it here. We'll be letting you know in a few, all right? Mm -hmm.